Another thing that you mentioned was that your industry is really male dominated. So can you talk about your experience as a woman in this industry and how did you, you know, what's that journey like breaking in and finding success? Yeah, it's super intimidating. Um, As a woman, like people sometimes might not believe that you're on a certain level, like, oh, she can't write boss battle music. You know, that's a very masculine type of music to write, especially in the gaming world. Game is, uh, you know, there's a lot of men playing games. And so even just being as a a woman and as woman gamer, it is, um, it's so misogynistic because guys will call you out and be like, oh, like, I bet you're not great at this game or whatever. And that can transfer to like music. And it's like, wait, the composer is a woman for this game. We're definitely rising. This year was the first year where the Grammys had a new uh, category and that was best score for video games. And yeah, we have been fighting for that for years. Like, please recognize that video game music is important. And the first Grammy went to a woman uh, wow. for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so that was a huge point. Like, see, like there, there's women in this field um, and the women in the field are just like incredible at yeah. what they do. Yeah. I love that. And it's like, yeah, women can write any type of music, even if it's masculine boss music. Yeah. Too. It's it not just pretty gender. stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they also, there's also stereotypes like, oh, you must be into like Animal Crossing then, you know, that's such a, that's such a girl game. <laughs> but um Yeah, at the end of the day, we have to remember everyone's individuals um, and we like what we like. And I've also noticed like if there's scoring competitions, sometimes people will have a call for composers to submit like a piece in a competition. And it's pretty much like 90 percent of it, if not more, is all by men. Mm. Um, I feel like a lot of women are afraid or they don't feel as confident and they have that imposter syndrome I know I do I there was a video game competition earlier this month and I was like there's no way I'm going to apply for that because I don't feel like I'm ready yet or like I don't feel like I'm good enough yet Uh, so it it's a constant battle. I'm still trying to overcome. Yeah. I feel like that feeling with women is across all industries. It's not just in gaming because women tend to, we tend to feel not as confident about our abilities. Like I think I heard it's like a a man will apply for a job if he only has like 50% of the qualifications, but a woman feels like she has to qualify 100% to apply for the job. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel (laughs) that. People who are less qualified than you are applying for these competitions right yeah and I (laughs) I actually learned uh, about manifestation from like your community in the Mm -hmm. discord and so I'm trying it this month for the first time and I'm trying to (laughs) manifest um myself like you know going to a scoring stage where you would record live musicians a live orchestra and you know there's the big boys in the mixing booth and they're all watching you and you're conducting the music and I'm just trying to like okay I I, I want to get out of my comfort zone even though it's intimidating as a woman and I'm just you know I want to try to get this. <laughs> 